In today's video, we're checking off our soul bucket list. From cozy Hanuk cafes and unique tours to historic houses and thrilling experiences, we've got it all covered. Let's dive in and explore Seoul. <laughs> We just did our check-in for the ferry. Customs will start at 8. So we are we have a wait we have an hour to wait. Yes. <laughs> yes. We have an 8 to hour. We have an 8 to hour. It's morning. We didn't sleep much. Now heading back to Korea yeah. and then back home. We did it around the boat. Around the boat. It was a yeah. struggle and a half. You can tell from your yeah. hair. Jesus. I'm tired. Now we're getting yeah. a lemonade. And then loitering in the front of the ship. Mm -hmm. how it feels to be on a cruise because I'm not entirely sure I want to go on a cruise if this constant swing is a thing. 100%. You need to chuck down pills constantly, I think. Do you? Probably. But people say that they can never feel the movement and stuff. Well, if it's like this, constantly. You get used to it? I don't know. If you don't suffer, then it doesn't matter. Leaving Hakata International Port was definitely a mix of emotions. On one hand, we were sad to say goodbye to Japan, but on the bright side, we were excited for another day in Seoul. We're basically in Busan. Oh my god, the wind! They let us go outside for a bit. Yeah. I understand why they didn't let us before. Yeah, it's not very pleasant. <laughs> well, it would be if it would be hotter. Yeah. The ferry ride itself was super smooth, and as we looked out over the water, we couldn't help but think about all the amazing things we got to experience this month. Naturally, the first thing on our minds was food. We settled on some delicious bibimbap. Simple, fresh, slightly spicy, exactly what we needed after the ferry. Our first Korean meal after three weeks, I think. Yeah. I'm gonna go and check which platform our train actually is from because we just selected number eight and we're standing there and realized, oh wait, maybe that's not the one. We did good to move upstairs because it's actually platform 6, not 8, where we were just randomly waiting ah, at. We, we found a platform with Seoul. Oh, let's wait here. <laughs> what so is this gonna happen? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, why not? The train was comfortable and we got some free snacks, which we thoroughly enjoyed. Although it has been a long journey, we were excited to have one more day in Seoul. Not a bad little room. Actually, you know what? We are close to the airport. It's gonna. We have a free shuttle to the yeah. airport. Only 15 minutes. I I picked my skin. In the, yeah. Well, I picked my. We don't talk about it. <sighs> and the room is pretty nice. There is a supermarket inside the hotel. And a couple of restaurants around. Yeah. So we're gonna go walk, find something to eat, mm -hmm. either a supermarket or a restaurant and bed because we've been traveling literally the entire day. Oh, today has been, well, a long, long day. But yeah, let's go. Won't you tell me, baby? We are in Seoul again. Finally, the plan is as follows. Hanuk village, eat at a cafe, street food market because I've missed the topoki. <laughs> topoki. Cacao friends. Cacao friends. Of Just course. to drop in to say hello. Olive Young for some skincare. Seoul Sky Tower because there is a glass walkway. Mm -hmm. That's probably it because we don't even know ah, about tea. Ah, uh, yes, bubble tea, bubble tea as mm -hmm. well. We don't have enough time to do everything, so let's see. Um, We're gonna push through. We're gonna try. Let's see how many things we can get done. One of the coolest discoveries we made in Seoul was this adorable spot called Low Roof Cafe. It was in a hanok and we could have easily spent hours there just sipping coffee and enjoying the atmosphere. Honestly, we wish we had more time to find little places like this throughout our trip. We have our little private room. Yeah, we just entered a random room inside this building. And it's a small one just for us. <laughs> it's nice. I'm, I'm super glad that mm. 
we side quested in here. Yeah. And we have like a garlic scone that smells so mm. good. I'm so excited to eat. We haven't eaten. In, yeah, in today. And it's midday. <laughs> Another side quest. We're in a <laughs> pedicab for K drama locations. Yes, that's some fun. We were so glad we managed to squeeze Buchon into our soul itinerary. Many of the homes have now been modernized or renovated during the Joseon dynasty, Buchon was home to high-ranking government officials and members of the royal family. The Hanuk houses were not just homes but symbols of social status. Yukyeong, meaning six views, refers to a part of Buchon where you can experience six scenic vistas of Seoul, often highlighting the harmony between the traditional Hanok architecture and the more modern skyline of the city. This was a good idea. Mm -hmm. We saw the most famous Hanok village street. Yes. The Blue House is the official residence of South Korea's president, known for its stunning blue tiled roof. Nestled in the heart of Seoul and surrounded by beautiful gardens, it symbolizes peace and stability. Back in Jae House Museum is a beautifully preserved Hanok from the late Joseon dynasty. It showcases traditional Korean architecture reflecting the lifestyle of Seoul's upper class. Wandering through its peaceful courtyards, you get the real sense of what life was like for Korea's elite in the early 20th century. When we're back in Seoul, this is definitely on our must visit again list. Another photo booth studio. Back in Korea, back to photo booths. No? Oh, I'm so excited. Mm. I love these. Yeah, I noticed. Back again to the Seoul sky, trying to do the sky bridge now. Let's see if we are lucky, lucky. enough. Yeah. yeah, we have an hour until our skywalk, so we're trying to find Olive Young. Yeah, we need to do some last minute shopping. The goods have been insured. Okay, <laughs> now let's just roam around until 6. excited to come back to Lotte Tower. There's something so magical about seeing Seoul spread out beneath you, especially at sunset. In our opinion, it's the best view in the city hands down. The main mission was the sky bridge. We managed 
managed to get up. It was, it was like 20, 20 floors. <laughs> I'm so red, I match my uniform. Yeah, I was tiring. But we're up. Yeah. How was it? How did you find it? Yeah, pretty normal. Yeah, it was exciting. It was fun. Were you scared? I did not look down too much, but I, know, I think it's fine. I stared. When I put my feet over, I was mm. like... I did not understand how yes. I needed to position myself for the pitch. She kept telling you, move forward, and you were just moving away from me. Yeah, I didn't understand. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but we managed. We have all it the... was so much fun. Yeah. I'm still shaking a bit, but I'm... It's the, That's the 20 floors. Yeah. We are on the bridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh? Exactly. No? How high up? Yeah. It's my echo location. Are you as afraid as you thought you were going to be? No, not as afraid. I think it's okay. But I don't move too much. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy with all the harnesses and everything? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Standing 555 meters above the ground, it offers stunning panoramic views of Seoul. It was one of those moments where you feel so very lucky to be alive. We did it. No FOMO. No FOMO. No FOMO. No FOMO. No FOMO. No FOMO. No I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> This was such a nice experience. Yeah, this is our goodbye to Asia. Yeah, from the 500, no, from 555 meters above the ground. Yeah. One of the last activities that I wanted for today, bubble tea. Yeah. Now we have bubble tea. Bubble tea, strawberry bubble tea. No, oh, this was my favorite last time when we tried it. I love milk tea, but the strawberry bubble tea was better. And then maybe street food if we find something on the way, otherwise yeah. it's time to retire. Yeah. After a long day of exploring, we just had to end our night with some street food. Spicy and chewy topoki paired with crispy sweet potato patties were just the perfect choice for our last meal in Seoul. Even more full circle, we stopped to eat at the same stand we ate the first night. Couldn't, couldn't complete this one any better than this. <sighs> yeah. Lovely. Shuttle, but at what cost? Oh my god, this is we can say later what this is, but wow. Oh my god, the shuttle experience was terrible. First of all, it arrived a big, a big uh, bus arrived, and that was only for terminal one, and the uh, luggage was just thrown inside whenever it was when it was fitting and then the other that didn't fit just inside with the people no no idea where then our little bus arrived and we had to fit 10 people or something more and all the luggage inside the, the bus itself it, it was a lot of screaming a it lot was of, a glorified van yeah awful but luggage everywhere in between us we couldn't even sit properly it was awful experience at least the driver uh, drove pretty smooth yeah because i uh, kept saying over and over again that i cannot go in the back because i'm gonna vomit yeah a horrible a horrible experience next time i'm i'm ordering a taxi yeah, yeah. Heading towards the gate now. Yeah, we're done eating and now it's time to board. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> This was truly a once-in-a-lifetime trip. We managed to see so much, but it still feels like it wasn't enough. Maybe one day we will return, but until then, we have these precious memories. The trip is officially over. Yeah, honeymoon done. It was perfect. We hope you enjoyed our honeymoon as much as we did. Don't forget to subscribe. I like it, I go like